This is Adrian Larson, president of Pathlight Investors, here with a Pathlight Insight. And today I want to talk about global mergers and acquisitions, or M&A. Now, global M&A is up roughly 75% year over year through the second quarter of 2014. Now, with stock markets high, CEOs have more confidence, they've got a lot of cash on their balance sheets, and they want to put that cash to good use. Uh, but one thing that this uh, cash on the balance sheet has spawned, uh, especially here in the U.S., is what's called a tax inversion strategy. Now, cross-border M&A, uh, which is a company, say, domiciled in the U.S., buying a company domiciled in, say, Dublin, Ireland, uh, is up 86% uh, year over year. Um, now, with 60% of cash on the balance sheets of U.S. companies being held overseas, it makes a lot of sense why. Now, a tax inversion strategy simply means uh, a U.S.-based company is merging with or acquiring a company that's domiciled somewhere else that's usually in a more tax-efficient or tax-beneficial territory. Uh, the U.S. tax code and corporate tax code uh, has become relatively onerous uh, when you look at other nations uh, throughout the world. So CEOs are looking for a way to be able to utilize that 60% of their cash that's overseas without taking the tax hit of bringing it back on shore. Now, the thing that this is ultimately going to drive, the debate that this is going to drive, is going to be one of tax reform. Um, we've now had, if you look at uh, the last couple examples, Medtronic just recently, or just recently bought Covidian for $43 billion, Covidian's uh, domiciled in Dublin, Ireland, and we just had the attempt by Pfizer to consummate a $119 billion acquisition of AstraZeneca, which is domiciled in the UK. This chant for tax reform, for corporate tax reform, is going to get louder and louder uh, as we get into midterm elections and ultimately into the presidential run in 2016. Uh, but it also isn't something, it's not going to go away. CEOs are always going to try and find a better uh, way to more tax effect or to manage their businesses more tax effectively. Uh, it's what they're paid to do ultimately to try and return more capital uh, to shareholders. So get ready for a, a, a bigger debate. I don't know if we're ever going to get any sort of tax reform coming out of Washington, uh, but it's definitely going to be in the headlines and it will continue to be in the news cycle. Call us with any questions.